Hello, welcome to another video. Today I'll be showing you how I made my top 10 ice cream cone pins using Shrinkadinks. This is my first time using Shrinkadinks, so it'll be interesting to see what happens. Like I said, this is the first time I'm working with shrink plastic. The instructions say you color on the rough side. I took my templates that I made in advance and taped it on the bottom. I'll put a link to the templates in the description below. To trace the lines, I used a black sharpie. Uh, oops! Make sure that when you tape your plastic to the template that you don't place it where you need to draw. After tracing the lines, I then got my coloring pencils and really color your ice cream. I used a black color pencil to clean up the smile and eyes. I learned the hard way that if you only color a little bit, later when they shrink, you will be able to see through the ice cream. Rule of thumb, if you can see through the plastic before shrinking, then you need to color more. I was coloring vanilla, so I wanted to add sprinkles to give it some color. Compared to the other ice creams, it would have been boring without the sprinkles. After you color your picture, you're going to do this to the rest of your ice creams. finished coloring our ice creams you will need to cut them out. It is really easy to crack the plastic so be careful. I space them out far enough on parchment paper so when they curl they won't get stuck together. I then baked all my designs for two minutes. Don't panic if they do crazy tricks they're supposed to. When all my designs came out of the oven, I would use a spatula to flatten them. To protect my design, I used Mod Podge Mat Mat Mate Mat mm, We're going to go with the first one. Mod Podge Mat Mat. Really paint it on your ice cream and trust me, they will dry clear with a nice glossy look. This will take all night to completely dry or until there is no more white. It should be clear or you will glue it to the paper. Of course, if you are making pins, you have to have pins. I found them in the jewelry section of Michael's, each package holding 10 pins. To place them on the back of my friends, I used E6000. Please be careful, the package warns you that it is harmful to inhale and may cause skin irritation. After using, go wash your hands. If you don't want to take the risk, you can use super glue. Because I used E6000 to glue my pins to the back, it took 72 hours to completely dry. If you use super glue, then it will dry overnight. Ta-da! You now have 10 adorable ice cream cone pins to show off to your family and friends. You can wear them on your jean jacket or put them on your school bag, wherever you want. I think they turned out really cute. I wish on some of them that I could go back and color them darker because you can see the pin through the ice cream, but it's okay. I'll just remember the rule for next time. Comment below what I should make next and I will do my very best to make it happen. Bye!